Hey everyone, Jason from Grip Tape here. We've just recently updated the Grip Tape Comfy UI nodes to work with Grip Tape Framework version 28, which allows for some really cool functionality, including the ability to pass multiple images to an image description node. So here you can see I've got two different images coming in. I'm using the batch image node to take these two images, pass them into a single output. Those go into the image description where I say describe these two images and it will go ahead and describe them. Let me show you how to set something like that up. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. We can just load an image. To find what we want, we'll go ahead and check out Trade School and look at some of the courses here. There is the Image Generation Pipeline course, and we've got some really nice images in here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this image here, and let's paste it into this node, and let's go ahead and do another one. And we'll grab the cow over here. Let's uh, copy that image, paste that in. All right, so we've got these two images here that we'd like to use. There is a image batch node as part of Comfy UI, which is batch images like this, where you can take two different images, bring them together. We could just take these two images and pass them to the image description node, which we will do by doing right mouse button, add node, grip tape, images, grip tape run image description. We could pass that single one right in here. Let's give it a command like describe the animals in these images. And let's get the output right there and go ahead and queue this. And what this will do is take both of the images, pass those in, and give us the following output. So the first image features a fluffy cat with long fur, and the second is a cow standing in a field. So as you can see, you can bring in two images. If you're using the Inspire pack available in the Comfy UI Manager, if you go to Inspire and you grab this Comfy UI Inspire pack, there's a node called Load Image Batch from Dir, and here you can just give it a particular directory. So for example, I could say custom nodes backslash Comfy UI dash grip tape docs images. Preview those images. You'll see that we've got a couple of images in here, so we can also just grab those and drag them directly in instead. And you'll see that it now is able to grab the images directly from there. So a couple of ways to bring those in, either use the batch image node, or if you're using the Inspire pack, you can grab from there, drag it in, and there you go. The cool thing about this as well is it doesn't just work with the default agent. If you use Olama, for example, and you've got a multimodal model like Lava, you can use that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create an agent. We will pass the Olama configuration into the agent. Let's just move that over there so we can see this easier. We'll then take this agent and we'll pass that in. And now this agent is going to be using Olama as its configuration and Lava as the model you'll see we get a response. So the big change now is that you can use multiple images in the image description and you're able to use local models that are multimodal like using Olama and Lava to be able to query image descriptions. Have a fantastic afternoon. Thanks very much.